I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is growing in popularity. If you don't know about it yet, this is when you play with one opponent and you each have two hands going at one time. It has become so popular that there are tournaments and you can play online. One of the exercises I like to do is something I call Siamese sprints. I force myself to make quick decisions because in a tournament you play on a timer and if you play online you have an initial two minutes to make decisions on your plan to start the game and then during the game you have one minute to make decisions pick to pick. It's very challenging and a lot of fun. If you have a set of tiles at home, try it yourself. If you are a beginner at this version, I recommend a four minute guideline. If you are an intermediate player, try three minutes. If you are advanced, try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you can make decisions in under two minutes, you'd be ready to play in a tournament or play online. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. For each of the sprints, we're going to alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 and 27 tiles respectively. And we're going to start as player one. Look at these flowers. Okay, we got to use those flowers. What about a quint? Do we have any big multiples? We have five, eight, six, north, west. Okay, let's see. I think a quint up here with dragons and eight, five, six. What does that leave us with? Seven, eight, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven, potential pair hand. News. I think that's what I would do. Quint with either five or eight. Build up the dragons. We've got the quint right there. News pair hand with five, six, seven, or six, seven, eight. I think I would keep these and then maybe use those as our sequence with whichever tiles we don't use for the quint. Five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine there. Leveraging all the multiples. Okay, here, pair of dragons. Six, we do have three, six, nine potential and two, four, six, eight potential. Two, four, six, eight. Sixes. S we have dragons here. Seven, eight, nine dragon. No threes. We do have 
369 potential and 2468. I think I would focus on 2468. Maybe five through nine pair hand and two, four, six, eight. Five through nine pair hand, two, four, six, eight. Maybe one suit. I think I would hold the nine though. If we get threes, we could switch to three, six, nine. I would start by discarding those. Dragons, white and green, white and green, seven, eight, nine, concealed, one, two, three, four, seven, one, one, two, three, news pair hand, or we could do we have no flowers. I think I would stick with this. Joker bait discards. One, two, three, four, maybe a quint using these or news pair hand. Seven, eight, nine, we've got our pair with opposite dragons. That is the Second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. And then here, news pair hand with one, two, three, or a quint if we don't need these jokers. So the key to making this work is to stay concealed. This is a concealed hand anyway. So another thing we could do if we get flowers is news with dragons, use this for joker bait and play the quint and use these down here. I would focus here and discard these, hold this for joker bait. Let's see how things went with time. Siamese Mahjong requires fancy footwork. And if you can do it quickly, all the better, especially if you want to play online or eventually in a tournament. Let's see how things went with time. Sprint one, one minute, 33 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 46. Sprint three, one minute, 30. Woohoo! I made it and under my goal of two minutes. If you don't make a decision quick enough online, the game will toss a tile for you. You don't want that to happen. So practice if you have a set of tiles at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.